Hello, hello, and welcome once again to 10,001 Instant Tips for the Home with your host, the ever internet safety expert savvy magician wizard professor PhD Shaniqua. So, today is a very special episode because we were talking about Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. This video probably won't make it to the internet on Mother's Day because, you know, that's how it works. So we're going to call this a bladed Mother's Day gift for all you mothers out there. And since we might as well just shoot for the stars here, we're going to say this is a belated Mother's Day gift from 2003. So, happy Mother's Day. So, now most people just get their mothers something boring, like like a card or something. But here at Shaniqua Mother's Day Gift Industries, we shoot for the stars, as I've said already once in this episode. And we are going to get her something so great, she'll have noth she'll have no other reaction than tears, which might be from joy, but I kind of doubt it. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to give all those mothers out there a test. Who doesn't want a test? I know you didn't study, but your mothers and you're the masters of improvisation. So, okay. So, what? how are we going to test them? Well... There is nothing that annoys my mother more than when I'm shoveling, like, buckets full of really messy stuff, like it has barbecue sauce and ketchup and hot sauce and mustard and mayonnaise and, and red wine and paint mixed in it, and all of a sudden I'm like, Arr! and some drips off and some of it gets on my shirt and some of it gets on the couch and some of it gets on the carpet and some of it gets on the dog and some of it gets on the, the walls. And there's even a little that gets like, there's even a little that gets uh, like under the fridge. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about stains. And we're going to be giving our mothers various stains around the house and seeing how well she performs in removing these stains for us. Because that's what mothers are here for, other than loving us and nurturing us and telling us to wash behind our ears and go before we leave somewhere. Okay, so this book gives us a couple kinds of stains, and we're going to be using all of them. So the first is built-up stains. So built-up stains are thick substances that need to be scraped off before treatment. So what I thought we're going to do is we're going to have a big meeting. And we're just going to sneeze and sneeze and sneeze via a whole vat of pepper. And we're, we're going to sneeze into these little cups. And then we'll have enough mucus that everybody can take home a shovel full. And we dump the shovel full out on carpet. And she has to scrape up this the mucus. And then she has to treat it out. Then the next one is absorb stains. Now, absorb stains are much easier. What we're going to do is we're going to drink 8 liters of water each. And I know what you're thinking, but no, we're not going to do that because that's disgusting. Then we're going to go get another liter of soda and dump that out and let that absorb into the carpet. Uh, another carpet stain, I guess. And she's going to have to clean that out. And that'll be nice. Maybe even give her a sham wow. Or, since moms are the masters of improvisation again, once again, we'll give her, her we'll give her the raw materials for ShamWow, such as an annoying salesman and a ShamWow seed tree, and we'll set her to work and see what she does. Um, other ones, mystery stains. Ooh. So mystery stains can be anything. That's why they're mystery. So what I was thinking. I'm going to take some crayons, crayons, okay, and some scissors, scissors, sorry, and then some sheet music, sheet music, mix it in with an old music stand, and a dirty sock, we're going to put this all in a blender, and we're going to mix it up, throw in a little food coloring to throw off the scent a little as to what the nature of the stain is and just see what she does that'll be interesting 
And finally, dried stains. Now, this we're gonna have to save till next year. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a vat of chicken blood, and you're gonna take this chicken blood and find a carpet in your room. You're gonna bury piles of clothes over the carpet after you dump chicken blood onto it, and then in a year you see what you got, and then you're like, Mom. For some inexplicable reason, there is a, a vat of chicken blood underneath my clothes. And then she has no choice, because the president is going to come that day and visit her and check how clean your room is, then to clean the chicken blood stain vat stain. And that'll be good. So, if your mom can complete all these tasks, tasks in less then two years because you know you need one year for the chicken blood just to dry and you don't know how long that's going to take then you can say that she passed and if it takes her more than two years then she's still passed because she knows how to not be taken advantage of by her children and husbands and bears oh my well i hope you have learned something once again i still have not and this is shaniqua signing off